Listen to me, Carbonista. If you think you have won this little skirmish, you are very much mistaken. Do not imagine. Frisco, She's hanging upside down in shit. Oh yeah. We are totally in command. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, first TARDIS. What a relief. Right. No that sh shot there is going to get first Min fans very uh, excited. Over there, the musicians, and over there, the footballers. These are massive. They're the pinnacle of this building. I thought it was a poo-vastua, not a museum These chauffeur, if that's what you call it. Oh. Psychic connection reactivating. Doctor. Oh. Hello. Who's that? How am I seeing this? Just watch. <laughs> oh, this is the guy we all thought was his son Tar and the pitch got lit. Is that Tim Shaw? You seen this? Is that the TARDIS is? Oh. Leaking. It looks dead soft. You defile the sacred legacy of my forebears. Don't look anything like forebears. Go on, shoot. Get back to your mum. Tell her what a brave lad you've been. Whoa. Oh, Christ, that's lava. Seven billion Lupari ships coming this way. That's an invasion fleet, right? It looks like it. Oh! Wow. <laughs> oh, sorry! Who's this then? What do we do? I don't know. Can we ignore it? They promised this would never happen. Except in the gravest of emergencies. Who's the bag? What am I doing in here? Hang on, hold him, Pen. I'm not an animal. No. Animals know when to be silent. That's a cool shot. That's space. They say you're the low IQ species. I don't know what you're talking about. I need to see a man about a dog. That's all you said. But it turns out the man is a dog and it's called Calvinist. And you won't tell me why you were so interested in him. Go on, yes. Oh my God. She's hiding something. Doctor. Who's that? I have no idea. Um, I didn't expect to see you here. Don't let me distract you. I didn't even know you'd be here. I was just taking the long way home. Because it's Halloween. <laughs> Not if it's making sense this episode. Took us some effort to get him. Oh my. Right. The doll's moved. Yeah. Must never happened before. No. Oh, he got it. Observation of Here he is, Vinda. I forgot he's in this. Oh, I'm so lost. Oh, okay. My sister. How I have missed you. The show, man. I've got a bone to pick with you. Oh, come on. <laughs> How many traps do I have to leave to get rid of you? More than you have done so far. Number two. You're going to tell me everything you know about the division. Division? Is, right? Ow. Might be. Who are you? Rescue party. Timeless child. Plot continues. Like 
assuming nothing goes wrong. Why? Do things often go wrong? <laughs> Come on. Stop asking about the division. That's not a question I can answer. How does he know Shut about up. them? You have to. I've spent a long time hunting you down. You are the only known division operative I can find alive. Oh, wow. Observation outpost rows will be compromised. Evacuation procedures urgently recommended. Oh, God. Yeah, system advice. This is serving Commander Instant B. Binder. Yeah, well, we don't want your protection. We were supposed to be sneaking in quietly. <laughs> Sorry. Did you release him? Yeah, I did. And that's payback for dangling me over boiling acid. <laughs> Whoa. You said it was a shit, that's not a shit! It is! Get in! Why did you put on the door in the door? Bit of a daft place to have a door, isn't it? <laughs> have a surplus of By the way, here's your house. <laughs> what? How did that happen? Carvinista set a trap up for us, which miniaturized it. I can't live in that. Right now you don't have a house, <laughs> very soon you may not have a planet, and there may not be a universe. <laughs> Here they are! Show me them potato boys. Finally, psychic Saria Krieger. Owens. Oh, oh look at that shot. Multiple readings. It's one event, but you can stop it, right? No. Oh, oh, hello. Again, you know something about the division, oh, don't yeah. you? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Really sorry. Oh, <gasps> she shattered it. The end of the universe is chasing us. So what are you doing? Town is calling Carbonista. Bring me back my human <laughs> now. I'm not your human. <laughs> Wow. Look at Doctor Who on the BBC. Of the TARDIS. The end of the universe. I always wondered what it would feel like. No, but sound. Well, that went out about a hundred beats per minute, didn't it? Oh my god. Well, Doctor Who is well and truly back. That that was insane. That episode just never stopped. <laughs> Um, where to begin? Uh, so, uh, Timeless Child Arc, that is still continuing the series. Uh, the Doctor's on the trail for the Division, well, the, uh, Kavarniston? Kav Kav Kavarston? How, how do you say it now? Hang on. Hang on. Um, oh, who won't tell me how that? Yeah, um, dog guy. The daughter's on the chase of the dog guy. And, uh, I was just bleeding mental. Um, so, yeah. The dog guy's the last standing member of the division. I think the doctor said or something like that. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, Dan, I really like. I wish we saw a bit more of him, of him being a new companion, and it's his first episode and stuff like that. But we did see enough of him to say how full this episode was. Um, can't really, really see how the Sun Tarans are fitting into it right now. I do feel a bit sort of forced in, like, children will just pick the name out of a hat. I was like, oh, let's talk in Sun Tarans. But hopefully, next episode will be more of the Sun Tarans. We're hopefully going to. Um, to learn a bit more about that. Um, but yeah, it is good to see, see the Santarans back. Uh, they seemed 
a bit out of character, I'll just say. Uh, when there's that scene where they sort of first came back and stuff, and that's not how I said, No, you really are disgusting now. Or, or no, you really are old now. You know, it's seemed a bit out of character for the Sontarans to say because Sontarans just don't care and they're all supposed to look identical so yeah oh well um, Weeping Angels as well once again can't really see how they're fitting into it uh, the only thing back I saw a picture is we're gonna see how the flux is affecting all these different monsters and stuff like that but um, I, I really look forward to learning who that lady was who talked to the doctor and Yaz. Um she seemed like she probably knows some stuff and stuff. Uh but she's been zapped back in time. Um oh she also talked to that swarm woman. Um I can't quite work out if that guy is the master or not. He's saying things like very master like but I definitely think that he's connected to the Doctor in some way with the Division and um, the, doc um, the Timeless Doctor lives. Um, but yeah, uh, so quite a lot to uh, unfold from that episode. Definitely need to second watch, I think. It was really good, it was a really good episode. I quite liked it. It, it was no, no more than 55, that's for sure. Um, oh, also, the TARDIS is dying, but I saw that theory going round and stuff, and I thought, to be honest, that theory pops up every series or so, that the TARDIS is dying and stuff like that. And most recently it popped up when Revolution of the Daleks aired. I saw a theory, theory online that people were saying, why is the TARDIS taking four minutes to get to Osaka? Um, I'll, I'll watch the episode again today uh, in preparation for this new series and uh, I was wondering why it would actually take them four minutes to get to Osaka and TARDIS just goes down there and there and there. Um, so I don't know, that's probably just you know a quick sort of throwaway thing because the Doctor was needed to talk to Ryan for a bit to get that scene in so she said four minutes to Osaka, you know just to break the ice and stuff. So it probably didn't mean anything that bit, but um that theory would just pop up every couple of series. But I like what they were doing with the doors and stuff. I was very sorry. It just shows just how alien the TARDIS is that you can sometimes forget that it is. Um so it was really cool to see and I quite like to see um all the black goop that was dropping from the uh the cool Bristles and stuff like that. She actually shattered one of the panels hitting it. If you take a look at that scene where the TARDIS is falling into a few rooks, you can see that she shatters one of the panels. Um, also, it was a very sort of 10th uh, Doctor comparison with um, the hammer and stuff, which I quite liked as well. Um, Yaz, it seems like Big finish, I've definitely got a nice big space to fit in some adventures when 13th Doctor comes to big finish. Um, I do think the first box set or set, whatever they're going to do, will feature the uh, Doctor and Yaz, and it'll be set during, uh, between Revolution of the Daleks and Halloween Apocalypse. But yeah, um, oh, is there anything else to unpack? Um, I was wondering, I thought that the, the people in, um, where is it now, did it say the Arctic Circle? I, I'm probably completely wrong with that, but that couple, where the woman turned out to be that female, so warm person, um, I wonder what that little device thing was, because he, he ended up dying, that guy, so... They must be connected to something because he. They said something about stuff in a great emergency or stuff like that. Um, like I say, the episode definitely needs the second watch just because there was that much in it and that much to unpack. But yeah, definitely very good.
and the show is definitely going in a very new direction. It also looks phenomenal. This series looks so good, it's unreal. Like all the shots in space, I just love them out. There's one shot in particular, I think where the TARDIS first material realised uh, in space, where the first sort of flu looks, and that is like wallpaper worthy kind of shot. So, definitely going to have to go back and find that shot. But, yeah, so, guys, that was the Halloween apocalypse. Rips and Doctor Who f looks has begun. Five episodes to go. <laughs> the show's almost over already. But yeah, really good episode. So that is all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at DanWFA. The link is in the description. Now, see you next week for War of the Sun Tarans. Goodbye.